Hi guys, Steph here. So I have another video of projects to share. I have four cards to share, uh, two of which are using stamps from Hot Rods Boutique, um, which I'll put the link down below. So I'll start with those. The first one here is using Whimsy Time for Tea Designs Bon Voyage. These girls are so cute. These are the Copic colors that I used. Okay. And it's on an A2 cardstock uh, Winter Wisteria from Paper Tray Ink. So there's the cardstock. And then here is the card. It's pretty simple, but I think it came out pretty. Um, so I just layered pattern paper from KI Memories Doilies Pad. And then the um, flower here is actually from Whimsy's Lovely Orchids, which may be retired, I'm not sure. I stamped this uh, big piece here onto Tim Holtz watercolor paper, and then I used my distress markers to color it, uh, watercolor it, and then I added a little bit of purple Wink of Stella to the centers to darken them, and some uh, stardust stickles to the yellows. And then the Have a Beautiful Day is from Avery L's Happy Camper. And then I just added some orange, green, and purple sequins. And then for her, I added glossy accents on her shoes, as well as some purple Wink of Stella. Um, and I got a fingerprint on there, so I'll have to fix those. I used some orange Wink of Stella on the lines on her dress, and some glossy accents on her eyes. So I haven't done the inside of any of these cards yet, um, but I will probably keep them pretty simple so that's that one and then my next card is using whimsy time for tea designs sweetheart isn't she so cute and these are the culprit colors I used and just to warn you for some reason my um, 100 my black Copic was like sticky so I had to clean it off but you'll see I'll show you what I mean but those are the Copic colors I used and I used just white 110 pound cardstock from Recollections for my base and it's also A2 size so here's my card and let's see do you see that like wet look on her hair that's what I mean like it doesn't feel sticky but it left that kind of wet look so I added some black wink of Stella and white gel pen to her hair as well some glossy accents on her eyes some orange wink of Stella on her shirt and heart and her shoelaces so that is what she looks like she is so cute my pattern paper is again from Studio Calico Print Shop. I just love this paper and I wanted to use it on a few cards. Um, so I just layered the pattern papers and then You Are Fab is from MFT's Bold Statements. And then I just stamped it with my, um, which black ink did I use? My Brilliance Graphite Black and then Clear Embossed It. And then for the little heart in here, I used my um, Chicken Nitty, Chicken Nitty Crafts um, Date Night Enamel Hearts. And then for the little enamel circles in the B, I used my Doodlebug Sprinkles in Swimming Pool. And then I also used a couple here. And then for the orange ones, I used freckled fawn enamel dew drops in neon colors and I just used two orange ones and then for my twine I just used lawn fawn trimmings and I believe this is the sky blue it wasn't unrolling right so I had to trim it off but that is that card pretty simple but I think it came out cute and then 
My next two cards are using just some random stamps. So this one is using, this is a Penny Black stamp. I believe, it doesn't have a name on it. I believe it's actually called um, Papillon Fee, which is Butterfly Girl, but I might be wrong. So um, this is the stamp I used. I got it at Michael's. And these are the Copic colors I used on her. Okay. This one's super simple, guys. This is five and a half by five and a half inch card on some. Oh, it's paper tray and cardstock. I'd have to look it up. I can't. I think it's Harvest Gold. And then I used some pure poppy. Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. I used the Simon Says Stamp Schoolhouse red cardstock. And then on the cardstock, I laid down this stencil that Brittany H. had made me. Beautiful heart of butterflies. And used my Dreamweaver embossing paste in matte yellow. And just did the butterflies. And then I put my girl down. And she just has a little bit of red glitter in the butterfly in her hair and some yellow Wink of Stella on the butterflies on her dress. I kept her very simple. And then these three butterflies were around her and I fussy cut them out and put them there. And then the Follow Your Dreams is from Close to My Heart and it's CC1014 and I don't see the name. I don't see the name. on this side. Hold on. I'm looking, guys. Sorry. Um, and I, I gave you the wrong number, too. It's D1501 A and B. Anyway, I just used that Follow Your Dreams up there. I can't find the name. I'm sorry. Um, so I just used that, and I embossed it in white embossing powder. And that's that one. But I love the, the little bit of texture and dimension that the embossing paste gives it. Super fun. And then my last one is just a fun cutesy card. It's an A2 on the um, Simon Says Stamp wood grain cardstock. Can you see that wood grain? Not if it doesn't focus. There we go. So that's the card base that I used. And then um, I just took a piece of white cardstock and I inked it up with some blues and then stamped down the grass. So the grass, the mushrooms, and the foxes, and the all of the stamped parts are all from... Oh, hold on, it's backwards. I put it in backwards, hold on. Are all from Sweet Stamp Shop Fox Set. So you can get this little tiny set and make a really cute scene. I just stamped the grass repeatedly up here and then in a darker color down below a little bit. I Copic colored my foxes slightly different so it would look like a boy and a girl and some mushrooms. And then I just fussy cut everything out. Up here says, what does the fox say? Well, this fox says happy birthday. And these are all in here. And then... Um, I added a cute little resin bow to the girl. And then for my clouds, what I did was I took another stencil from Brittany H. Thank you so much, and I've been having a blast with these. And I laid it over, um, you know, in different spots and took a white applique um, pen, white liquid applique. And I just painted it in the lines, took it off, moved it, painted another one, and then I heated it all up to make the clouds puffy. So that's another way you can use stencils, especially cloud stencils, is by using a liquid applique inside so that when you dry it, it puffs up. So really cute and simple card, fast to make, and I had fun with it. And I love this, what does the fox say? Okay, so that is it. Those are all my cards that I did this weekend. Um, I'll be having a bunch of um, scene cards coming up. Um, as someone ordered several from me. So I'll be making those and I will share them before I send them out and everything. So 
that's it. Thanks a bunch for watching, guys. Bye.